Hello friends, welcome back to a new video in which we will be watching a game which has been described in many different ways, including an absolute catastrophe. Is this Gold League? Well, if you didn't have a headache before this game, you definitely have one after. You're watching Harston vs. Kalazur in the first person view of Harston. I see my beautiful face in the bottom right, uh, trying to figure out how to wall on this map. And this was played in an ESL Open Cup. This game might be one of the craziest games I've played in my 13 year long StarCraft II career. I truly do mean this. The, the game makes very little sense. You're about to see it, but it all starts very, very standard here with a normal probe timing, with a normal core before Nexus build order, while my opponent Kalazur opens with the most standard of builds as well, a single gas expansion. So both players here playing some extremely standard StarCraft 2. Even gets a command center down immediately at the correct location. And I'm pretty impressed by that because it requires the Terran to do something called SCV micro, where they have to select their SCVs and send them to the close, the most close by mineral patch. Now, for your regular Zerg or Protoss player, this isn't that much of a task, but for some reason, Terran players really do struggle with that. And as a result, often build their command center two, sometimes even three seconds later, just because they don't understand how probe stacking works. That is not a slide at all, Terrans. If you're doing it correctly, congratulations. You're not a complete idiot. And uh, apparently Kalazur also isn't. I did hide my probe here. I didn't want to lose it to any potential Reapers. And as is usual in my games, I decide to open up with a Stargate. Stargate allows me to get a little bit of map control, allows for easy scouting, makes it really difficult to die. And Kalazur is a pretty tricky player. So I figured, you know what, Stargate, that's good. I Chrono Boost my second Adept while he tricked me there with, <laughs> with his Reaper move. I'm not embarrassed by that. This happens on a daily basis. If I had to be embarrassed every single time something bad happens to me, I'd be in, well, basically embarrassed the entire day. Uh, actually, he might actually escape here as well, which would be somewhat embarrassing. I'm trying to pull a probe as well. As he completely escapes, I lose a little bit of mining time. And once again, I'm impressed by my own ability to mess up a sure kill, which definitely should have been a... Uh, 100% kill there. Now, I'll start here with an Oracle across the map. And this is a build that Hero actually played a little bit. I want to say against Cure at some point. But I'm not entirely sure if it was. Or maybe against Bion. One of the two. It's an extremely fast third base with a single Oracle. And it has good eco. It is relatively safe against Reaper openers. As long as you're not getting 3 rexed. If you're getting 3 rexed, you usually just straight up lose the game. But I decided, you know what, what's the chance that Kalazur here is going to 3-rex, get my pylon down, and if I do survive with my Nexus, life is going to be pretty darn good. You quickly follow this up with some extra gateways, because you still want to be safe against majority of the build orders, and in order to do that, you need some extra gateways here. Following it up with Phoenixes as well, of course. So I fly in, bum -pi dum -pi dum and I see, yep, there it is, a 3-rex. That's pretty much the worst case scenario. I do manage to cancel my... Uh, second phoenix and instead start an oracle while simultaneously we also have my uh, warp gate uh, about to finish up i immediately start a new unit in my gateway and i'm desperately hoping that i'm not going to get supply blocked and that everything here will be fine i'll throw down a stasis ward i'm going to get like i said two oracles which should help as i'm moving into a major supply block luckily the nexus will help out and pop me out of that straight away. So Sentry is out here. That will hopefully allow me to get a Guardian Shield defensively. His Reaper is trying to poke a hole in my Stasis defense. And for me, it's really important that I figure out where his army actually is. If I can figure out where his army is, life might actually be okay. So here comes his Reaper, uh, but not his main army yet. And he's going to end up losing that Reaper. But I still don't quite understand where he is. No, he actually survives that Reaper. Holy crap. So many good Reaper spots here. Now, do lose one Oracle pretty much for free because I'm busy scouting and not busy doing the correct thing. Super Battery gets activated. He snipes my sentry immediately. And like I said, 3 Rex is probably the worst case scenario. What does my opponent play? Of course, my opponent plays 3 Rex. And uh, losing an Oracle for free definitely isn't one of the things that I would recommend either, by the way. It's uh, one of the things I actually really would not recommend to do if you're playing against the 3 Rex. Now, I'm trying to desperately warp in more and more units. I haven't actually taken that much damage yet, but there's, of course, the, the second attack still coming in. Simultaneously, my oracles across the map are taking a bit of damage. I'm just trying to go in for a counterattack, see if I can maybe kill a couple of workers. Hopefully, he skipped on a turret. He didn't. And as a result, well, can't really deal any damage. 
I'm forced into building a lot of heavy gas units with the Oracle here. That's my fourth Oracle that I'm building. And they're not so useful in the late game. So I'm trying my best here to survive and surprisingly doing well, somewhat of an okay job. But I'm massively delaying my tech here, massively delaying my upgrades. I'm microing my Oracles back like a good boy. Well, microing one Oracle back like a good boy. The other one sadly did end up falling. But like I mentioned, my infrastructure is pretty poor. My eco is quite good, but eco is pretty useless if you don't have the infrastructure to utilize that uh, that that eco and that's pretty much the case so if he manages to attack within the next 30 seconds or so it's going to be quite a struggle on top of that i also have no phoenixes which means i have no real catch i, I want to say cash but <laughs> that's why it sounded so weird <laughs> i have no real catch so if he goes for drops it's really difficult for me to to well to catch him that's pretty much what what catch means and that's also why I'm adding in phoenixes this late. Now, these phoenixes are going to be useless in, in direct engagements, pretty much. But they're going to be really useful if my opponent decides to start dropping. I have poor map vision at the moment, and I have no clue what Kalazur is doing. Is he playing triple CC? Does he have a fourth done? Is he going for double eBay? Maybe there's Ghost on the way. I have no follow-up tech here yet either, which is actually kind of painful. And now I start to scout for the third, and I see that his orbital is starting. While well, also having a turret there already. And he's also going into my main base. And on top of that, to make matters worse, my charge isn't even done yet. So I have slow zealots to defend here uh, for a couple more seconds. I do really need to wait for charge to finish up. Otherwise, life is going to suck. Three, two, one. There we go. I go in, try to deal some damage onto uh, these medevacs. But life is pretty difficult. If you have a low phoenix count and you don't know where the first medevacs are going, it, it can be pretty hard to kind of get some momentum in the game here. Uh, Kalazur is doing a good job. Keeping everything alive, I try to attack into it. Doesn't quite work. Look how high his marine count. His marine count is, by the way, it's basically pure marine. A couple of mines would definitely help him out against my massive zealot count, but not quite here yet. I also have only zealot. Both of us just playing basically. Oh. <laughs> I love that I recorded my microphone. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm not in a great spot right now. All right. Uh, I have a Zealot run by setup, which is nice, but he is attacking me, has so much damage output, and he can kite me forever as well. Uh, he has enough medevacs to do whatever he wants. My Zealot run by is coming in at a very, uh, well, very solid timing, I have to admit. Don't forget that at the same time, my Phoenixes need to remain in position to stop any potential drops. Can't really use them in a fight here. And yeah, my Zealots are just pretty much dying at a very high pace. Fort base is on the way, which does help, and his medevacs are running pretty dry at this point. But the mines in the back are uh, making sure that I can easily stop this position from uh, being broken, or can easily break this position. I do manage to somewhat defend here, but upgrades do suck for me. My eco isn't as brilliant as it used to be, as uh, he probably has a fort base at this point already. I have no clue if there's a right side army, and I still don't have any next tech. Like, I'm still working on pure gateway units. My first Colossi isn't out yet, and I'm pretty much bleeding out the units at this point. And honestly, it feels to me that the game is pretty over at this point. Colossi is going to be super helpful because it is just pure marine over here. And this is a really bad fight out of my opponent, just fighting into my Colossi. Did manage to snipe a bunch of my, a bunch of my Phoenixes, but... Not quite sure if that's going to be good enough. Drops into my main base. Actually, kind of a nice move. So I try to defend that with my, my Zealot Colossi Phoenix defense over here. One Medivac is going to get taken out. But I really have no vision on the far right side. I have no vision on the left side either. As he comes in again. And yeah, my, my eco is just... It's honestly just looking really, really rough for me right now. The complete lack of vision. The complete lack of counter harass that I've been able to exert any map control is is in his hands as well if uh, we can even speak of that i mean i just can't even consider moving on the map yes he, he has full vision i don't know how many bases he has this game is looking pretty dark for me at the moment i'm throwing down a, a templar archives and i hope to survive till well disruptors and maybe to 150 160 supply i think i'm still working with a single forge as well at this point which i mean given the situation is not great i believe he's pretty much at 2-2 or at least has 2-2 on the way so yeah things are looking pretty bad for me right now i would say at least and once again i have absolutely no vision pure marine moving towards the right side will trade decently well against these zealots. i really wonder if i ever click those marines to see 
uh, where they're at. Oh, this is a nice move. Look at that. Bam. Actually take out a mine there by killing one of my own zealots. That looks like I cleared it. But I also lost my zealot. Still a good trade. Mines are really annoying. They're good spotters as well. So I'm glad I got rid of that crap. Phoenix is now moving forward. And seeing that single medevac uh, still in the same position. Finally a second forge gets added in. And here I do get a kill on the medevac and a bunch of marines. Which is extremely nice. Like This was so necessary for me. That without it... If I don't get that clean up, life is just going to get so difficult. Finally get some counter pressure in as well. So my first prism is out right now. And he's scanning forward. Oh, actually sees my prism. Almost gets it as well. Still basically on pure marine. Pretty much trolling me at this point. Also scans my observer. So more vision is gone from the map right now. I see that he actually has a fort base. And I decide to split off, <laughs> split off a couple of zealots. Hey, it's just ridiculous looking at the situation, right? He's adding what? A 5th, a 6th, and a 7th command center while I'm struggling to get the gases at my 4th base. I'm not maxed yet, I'm in a terrible spot, I have poor infrastructure. I'm really just trying to hold on to a 5th base and not having a very easy time so far. I wonder what my actual worker count is. It feels like I'm fairly low, like maybe 74, 75. So now I have 4 disruptors on the map. I try to split them off from my main army. This seems to me the only way in which I can truly survive. It's not going to be very easy. It's not over there. I don't see him on the mini map. Prism goes in towards the main base. This is actually going to be very useful. Because I finally get some counter pressure. Should not be setting up in turret range though. If your opponent is completely maxed, you get a prism in with a warp, with a warp in as well. Um, they usually don't have the reinforcements popping out, so it makes it really difficult for the Terran player to deal with it. So, at this point, I'm like, okay, I actually probably forced some units back. I have a decent disruptor count, and this map is kind of tricky as well to attack into a five base, five base toss if, if cannons are up. So, I'm starting to feel somewhat more secure in this game right now. And I don't want to use the word confident, but I'm fairly confident in scenarios where I'm a little bit behind, as long as I have a higher disruptor count and I have some type of vision. Now, the vision is still lacking, but I have observer speed on the way. I have double robo uh, also producing observers. Now, this is very unfortunate. Stalker's out of position, Phoenix is out of position, and I end up almost losing all of my colossi, but luckily enough, two of them stay well, barely alive with what feels like 5 HP. Disruptor count is high as well, and Prism, once again, is going to go in towards the main base. Seems like a good play to me. I'm gonna send one Colossi over towards the, the far left side, which also honestly seems like a very good play to me. He has a massive depot wall there on the far right. They send over everything to defend my forward base at the moment. Lose my Phoenixes for free for no real reason. As so my Prism enters his main base, these two Colossi are super low, so despite it being a pure marine army, I'm still struggling to defend that base. And that actually kind of messes with me. Here he comes moving forward into range. Disruptor shot is absolutely massive as he sets up to drop into my main base, according to me. Simultaneously here, I get a couple of medevacs that uh, try to go in towards my natural. And don't forget, I still have a zealot attack in his main. Uh, this drop, however, is a bit of an issue as my zealots and DTs are being cleaned up. This is so hard for me to deal with, though. He still has a massive eco lead as well. Like I'm, I'm trying my best to do something, and I'm getting okay trades. But at the end of the day, I'm oh, those nice snipes. I'm not really killing any workers. So if I'm also still losing stuff, like if I'm still losing units as well, then and I can't move across the map to kill my opponent, then it just sucks for me because I know he has infinite orbital commands at this point. He's probably mewling like eight or nine or ten at a time. Like this game is absolutely unwinnable. I think. Like, unless I take an insane fight at some point. But, yeah, it's going to be fairly hard. He should be on six, maybe seven bases. But, of course, the real banger is the amount of orbitals and the amount of SCVs that he has. The infrastructure as well. I want to start setting up with DTs right now. Trying to uh, maybe snipe a couple of SCVs. Because that's the only way to, you know, to heaven for me. By getting a couple of SCV kills. Vision. He has 3-3 upgrades already. I'm getting my 3-3 upgrades, so I'm also down in upgrades, which is painful. And I probably have been down two, sometimes even three upgrades for quite a while. Start my blink. 
on the Dark Shrine. So the Shadow Stride is actually called. As he moves in right now, I, I, I gets a beautiful scan here. Ends up killing a bunch of Zealots, a bunch of DTs. And I lose my fifth base. Just don't have the map vision to deal with this type of stuff. And right now my army really just consists of Zealot, Stalker, single Colossi, and a bunch of Disruptors. And the Disruptors are probably the only thing that will allow me to ever win a fight. I do like that I continuously expand. Seems like a relatively good move at this point. A little bit of a Zealot Warp in. Five DTs. Usually you need a bunch of DTs in order to... Uh, to start doing something with them, like 10, 11. I like to have 11 or 12 DTs, so you can easily triple swipe planetaries without having to worry about losing one or two. Sometimes when you blink in and they target fire well, you know, they can kill one or two, or if there's a mine there that can also suck up. Mine gets taken out, that's beautiful. He starts to move into a position to try and take out this base. I do have some disruptors available, as my DTs now make their way up towards the top left, hopefully to kill a base, but more likely to do absolutely nothing as it's such a low number of dts now i'm starting to add a couple more but this fight is going relatively poor at the same time my colossi is barely going to fall with the last shot of the viking so my dts need to be so so careful prism in the main base is actually dealing some real damage and i see no base in the top left and all of a sudden i'm thinking hey wait a second maybe it's actually possible for me to do something um, so i don't see a base here either i start moving forward Perhaps a little bit too aggressive. My own fifth base is finally being set up. I have no vision on the far right side base, but last time my prism flew over it, I remembered not seeing one. So most likely five base versus five base scenario. But here comes the real issue in the liberators. I don't really have anything to deal with liberators. And my DTs are being uh, found out as well. I'll try to go for a cheeky little recall. We'll get it. We'll lose a couple of DTs and need to rebuild those. I haven't been maxed for... Well, maybe the entire game, honestly. I have no clue. I know there's a, a mine there somewhere, but I can't freaking find it, and it's driving me nuts. I keep getting hit by it, and I just don't see it. Even now, I have a, I'm having a difficult time seeing where that mine actually is. Trying to hit Purification Novas on top of it. So I immediately expand towards the bottom right side, as I realize I'm most likely going to end up losing this base, and losing this position. At the same time, I send in DTs as well. And I can, maybe I can go for a little bit of a base trade here. Some warpings in the main. Clear the mine over there. Stalkers in the main, you know, making sure that a, a drop towards the main doesn't quite work out. Well, we'll lose a lot of crap there as I blink in. See if Kalazur is paying attention. The answer is, well, he was, but not quick enough. Is he paying attention over here? Well, he was, but is it quick enough? Well, it's gonna lose a lot of these liberators as a result, which is kind of nice for me. I start taking out orbital commands as well. Warp in more zealots in the main. And I'm like, okay, how can I actually win this game, right? What, what is? I can't fight this army straight up. If Lips are in position, he's still probably too strong. I'm kind of locked into this area as well. So how do I win? Well, maybe with my, my counter attack, I can do something. Or I can blink out and try to kill stuff. It doesn't seem to entirely work out. But maybe with some big disruptor hits, I can at least continue playing on. Literally hitting every single disruptor shot, but still not quite enough. Meanwhile, his production is under heavy siege. As I keep, well, what is it? Two disruptors alive. I have this base still alive. I'm starting to think that maybe with a, a little bit of help from my friends, I can actually do it. 1DT here being warped in. Trying to make sure that he doesn't have any uh, orbital commands that can actually scan anymore. I see in the main base, he has infinite scans there. So I'm like, well, that, that plan didn't quite work out. He still has a planetary mining on the far right side as well, by the way. So, yeah, this doesn't feel entirely brilliant for me. I'm still mining as well, though, and my production is uncompromised, which we can't really say about his production. Right? He, he definitely has been compromised. But start mining from the bottom side. And send a couple of stalkers towards, because I see a uh, liberator in position. Two disruptors are still around. These guys are very important in these low eco situations. Ship weapons level 2 have been researched, which means that stalkers get two shot. If they get EMP, they get one shot. This is one of the biggest upgrades in the game. Oh, 
I see some uh, mines over there. Shoot, shoot them with my disruptors. See if there's anything here. Ooh, nothing here. That makes me happy. That makes me very happy. That makes me a very happy man, actually. Now I see there's not nothing there either. Oh, another little mine. Burrow the inside. DTs can't attack into a prism, obviously. I want to make sure that this right bottom side base is not going to get killed. And I want to know where his army is. So I feel pretty comfortable at this point in this position. Well, I know I'm behind in, in mining. Most likely he has three, four orbital commands. Um, and he's probably up in supply as well. But I have disruptors. And with disruptors and a dream, a man can make anything happen. This is one of the many rules of StarCraft. Look how many scans he's using. He can, he can afford it as well. And now... See this lovely feature of this map. Thank you, whoever made Royal Blood. I truly, sincerely thank you for putting in a, a spot where I need to build a freaking Phoenix to deal with uh, a single Liberator with advanced ballistics. That seems like a fun game mechanic. I pick up most of my disruptors as he tries to push in. His army isn't quite as big. So I can temporarily survive. And I'm like, hey. I need to probably build something here. Where's my phoenix? Where are you, Mr. Phoenix? As I send my probes uh, semi back to mining, but not completely. Find two random observers as well. Always a nice little surprise. Warp in some more stalkers. Make sure he isn't expanding anywhere either. I think my phoenix still isn't attacking the Liberator, by the way. This is hilariously sad to watch. Come on, buddy. Mr. Phoenix. There we go. Probably should be checking the top left side. Maybe the gold base as well. I think that's definitely uh, in the plans here for me. I want to get my own gold base at the same time. Oops. Get hit by something. Not sure by what. But it does suck. Not sure why I have a, a probe run by happening here. I guess just to block the bases for now. Oh, more random mines that I didn't see somehow. Despite having... Or supposedly having full vision with these observers. Should be completely fine. Uh, slowly but surely I am building up an army. And I am building up an eco as well. Blink forward. Try to take out this liberator. But simultaneously he goes in for a move as well. Starts taking stuff out. I'm not actually sure if I have enough to deal with this planetary. Can I out damage that? I think I probably can, right? Oh, these guys definitely need to piss off right now. Start another nexus. Main base, is it still secure? Well, main base definitely is still secure. Maybe I can take out most bases though right now. At least a couple more of these orbital commands could go down. Here comes a purification nova. Probably could have killed those marauders looking back at it. But I didn't. As I continue my uh, my mission to snipe, not just liberators, oh, but also uh, orbital commands. And he quickly realizes, floats them in towards the main. Now there's still one mining base that he has. That one is definitely pissing me off. That's the one on the left. Should I have killed it? I don't know. Oh, here comes the disruptor shot. Oh, I can actually just attack that. I thought that mine was active, but instead I actually had vision of it. Now, this is a fun army to engage into. If you have about uh, 25 more supply than what your opponent has, maybe a couple of colossi, but with stalker disruptor, you literally can't do anything about this. It's marauder, ghost, marine, liberator. Everything is just going to get two shot by liberators. Oh, my DTs are actually moving in. So I'm just pretending like he doesn't have scans available and I run away out of uh, out of range. I think that was a pretty good move there. As now I have this nexus up. So I'm going to get at least a little bit of mining, but I'm completely out of money. He still is mining from one base. And all I have really left are these three disruptors. I don't have access to my own main base anymore. And this is where the game well, went from terrible to... Truly garbage, I guess. So this is, I think, the worst position I've been in this entire game. As now I'm lacking production. I'm down in eco. He still has at least two orbital commands. And he has a planetary as well. And I am mining from a single base. I do have a lot of workers. So I decide to also take the gold. But I don't have anything else, honestly. Now, what do you do when you're really far behind? When behind Dark Shrine. Except I don't have a Twilight Council or anything else that would help me. So instead I go for when behind Disruptor Drops. This is a uh, new new in the lore. 
I would recommend uh, following this advice as well. That disruptor drop gets a single marauder. This disruptor shot. Poof! <laughs> gets a couple of marauders there as well. And now the, the multitasking war begins. Except I'm behind in eco. Because he's mining the forward base as well now. So he's on two bases while I'm on a single one. But I have a prism. Disruptors and a dream. And I used to have vision. But that's now gone as well. Here comes another disruptor drop. Well, will not quite work out. EMP, but will not get the kill on the prism. As your boy Harstam now is uh, rapidly trying to move forward. Just trying to, to get some free damage in. Oh, there is a base here. Jumping for the snipe. Jumping for the snipe. Guardian shield. Purification Nova. One liberator. Purification Nova kills basically everything. Two liberators. Three liberators. Four liberators go down. Maybe five. Blink away. And blink away. So, decent snipe there. I can't recall if I actually just got the, the orbital or not. I don't think I ended up getting it. Doesn't matter. He has another one anyway. I do finally get my next base up. So we're now 27 minutes into the game. Still being outmined, but... The disruptor's in the prison. And a dream. In the corner, in the corner, in the corner. Ah, unfortunate. And off we go, my friends. This is why you need Vikings. This is why you need some Vikings to deal with this. Also, there's Vikings in general are nice to have. There's one or two. In case I get Colossi out. Although that does seem somewhat unlikely. Now, I'm finally starting to get production back online. It's taken me about two and a half minutes, but we're on the way back home. I still see he's not expanding towards the far left, as he's probably unaware at this point of what I'm doing. I'm planning on taking a third base. Still have this prism flying around as well. So I drop this bad boy, and one, two, three. Three marines, not bad. This planetary uh, that's on the very top side should be, well, very close to mined out at this point. And I'm like, wait, I might actually be out mining my opponent for the first time in forever, basically. So I just want to know where his bottom side army went. And I want to make sure that I can't get killed by another liberator move. Because that didn't go so great for me last time. I've completely migrated at this point as well. Now the zealot gets sent up. Ooh. Look at a prison. Look at a prison. Ah, nice. Liberators. Ha, ha. Oh, oh, oh. Very fun. Oh, big blink forward. That actually is very fun. Two lips get taken out for well, pretty much free. I still had the Phoenix alive from earlier. Send it over. Yeah, the clarity of mind here that your boy Harstam is using is, is truly magnificent. Sadly, Liberators are in position. And now, this is not meant to be a base that you can actually defend if your opponent is set up right next to you. Careful with that prison, buddy. Oh, a couple of stalkers almost got taken out. But yeah, Lips completely uh, shut off this area. I look at this army and I think to myself, I probably should be capable of blinking into that. Or at least just, you know, attacking and killing the Lips and then moving away. Um, apparently, Harstam from the past thought the same thing. And both of us were incorrect. As <laughs> this is a big enough of a Terran army to be the gateway army. Just supplemented with some disruptors. Good pickup, micro though. And now, poof, blink forward. Is the dream alive? At this point, I'm pretty sure that I am actually outmining my opponent. And I still have three disruptors alive because I don't lose them. It's a, a brilliant concept that other Protoss players also should follow. Just don't lose your disruptors. Because if you don't lose disruptors, you can keep reusing them again and again. It's like these nice bags that you can get at the grocery store, you know? Rather than just the plastic bags, the disposable ones, you just get the nice bags once and you can just take them again every time. Or you do what I do, and you forget them, that you have them. You buy, you know, the, the proper one, the one that you can reuse again, because you're not going to buy no lame plastic bags. And then, by the end of the year, you have seven of these nice bags that you can't really use for anything except for grocery shopping, but you keep forgetting to pick them with you. But that never really happens with the disruptors. Whenever you have a disruptor, you usually use it. So, fake analogy. Now, at this point, I do believe that I'm actually outmining my opponent somewhat significantly. I haven't checked the very top left in quite a while, but I'm happy just with a little bit of a zealot run by. Here towards this base. Taking gases, considering taking a fourth base again as well. Ooh, look at that. Taking out one of them liberators. The other liberators is so far away. Might as well be in a different continent, but... <laughs> do get some big hits here with the disruptors. It's still not over though. 
Because don't forget, Protoss units are not actually allowed to kill the Terran army. Only Disruptors and Colossi can. And you, I actually just lost one Disruptor, so I only have one left. Uh, I think I'm planning on blinking for it. This feels like a, a blink forward type of game. Now here I felt like I probably should have won the game. Um, but then I realized Terran units with medevacs are pretty strong. Uh, so are Zealots apparently. Prison flies forward and with Y7 gateways, I push my opponent back. Well, pretty pretty far. Only a single disruptor remaining though. These uh, reinforcements are going to get taken out for free. Can we have another disruptor shot? Yes, we can. And GG gets called. And holy crap. What an absolutely bonkers game. But <laughs> you don't want to hear me laughing. You want to see this German caster be absolutely broken about it. Trust me. Darkrai will get it. Yeah. Yeah. Ich bin mental gebrochen, ne? Ich bin mental gebrochen. Ich bin mental gebrochen. Also, ich weiß nicht, was das war. Ich weiß wirklich nicht, was das war. And on that positive note, we'll end today's video. Thanks all so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see all of you next time for a new video. Adios. Bye-bye.